Howdy folks, this is Justro at Matt Kaif Mills. I got a video for you today. Yes, it's a barn video. I got the opportunity yesterday to go visit our friends over at the Kramer Life. If you don't know them, check their channel out. They've had an interesting journey and they're some fine folks. And I got the opportunity to go over there yesterday with uh, some other friends, Billy and William from Permapastures Farm, as well as Sean the Modern Yeoman. And also, uh, the Holler family from the Holler Homestead. So, we had a lot of fun, and it was good to see these folks. They're all real fine people and good friends. And I'm thankful for that opportunity, and I got to film an old barn over there. So, I'm thankful for that, too, thanks to the Kramer life. Is an, I think the old original house that was here <coughs> right here you can see the front steps coming up right here's the front steps the front steps of the house been gone for a long time from what I understand here's an old building we all know pretty well don't we if you watch Matt Cass Mills, you know it. And if you don't watch Matt Cass Mills, you might still know it. But this is old corn crib for this farm right here. Getting in bad, pretty bad shape. And this is the barn we're going to check out. Yeah. This shed coming out up here. I'm going to assume a little bit because this is not the style barn that was built in my part of the country, but uh, this was to bring a load of hay in here on a wagon. And there's a hay trolley up in that main ridge loft that comes out and drops down and there's big <coughs> two big spikes that spike each side of the haystack lift it up and then it takes it back into the barn and unloads it so you could pretty much unload a whole haystack in one bite or at least in a few bites and take it back into the barn walk around the outside and check it out first sitting on a concrete foundation looks poured poured concrete foundation at least on this one side now you can see these openings on this side right here are to feed stock inside you know maybe they could haul silage or something over here and shovel it right straight into the animals inside the barn barns like this that are not used are just just left the weather and nature just kind of reclaims the wood I guess you could say I think Nate and Katie have potential plans for this barn but you can see this barn is special right here um and I'll show you, I'll try to explain my understanding and my assumptions on this part right here. But if you look under here, this floor was elevated up and you can see right here, the floor slopes back at an angle here. I think that was based on hay. Upstairs, they could throw hay down into this section, and it would all slide down where the animals could get at it to eat it. And I don't know if that was an afterthought, why they decided to do it this way, but it was a lot of work, 
and we'll look inside and see what else we can figure out. But you can see this is about a four foot overhang on this barn right here. See there, it's about a four foot overhang. Old concrete and rock poured foundation on this thing. And I don't know if there might have been some stock that got sheltered under this right here. And it was kind of a double function detail. But see right here is what I was talking about where the animals could be fed. And the floor sloped down towards the animals so that all the hay and would, I don't, would be funnel down to them the old door is long gone but here's the track for the door right across here a track door that had wheels that slid across right here we go in concrete foundation under the main support walls pretty nicely done here Heavy floor joists up here. Looks like two by six heavies, which look almost like three by sixes. So, light switch. I guess we don't have lights for this video. Nail on it right there to hold that door closed. Now, you can see right here, this is that side outside that I was talking about. If you can see it. This room's just a big, stored some lumber in here, some field fence. Right here, you can see upstairs, see there's an opening there. So up in the hayloft, they could just push the hay over with a fork and right down into this part, and the animals could stand here and eat. And it kind of sloped back towards them. I don't know if that was an afterthought, not part of the original structure or what they, you know, is anybody's guess on that. This barn's built pretty well. I mean, heavy, you know, heavy, some heavy timbers in here. Roof's been leaking, rotted the floor a little bit right here. There's a door right here to go into. I guess this right here is the milking parlor. You can see the concrete slab right here that goes all the way. Animals would stand right there. The stanchions, head gates right here to hold them till they couldn't move. One, two, three, four, five, six, maybe more on down that end. But they would bring the milk cows in here, probably just from across the hall. Probably, I don't know if they, I don't know if it was out overnight or not, but they would bring them in here, run them in to eat, most likely feed them silage through these back ports that we looked at. And they would come in here and this is where they'd do the milking. See, so you got these stanchion bars right here to, to keep them separated see keep them apart looks like over here is where you would go upstairs this is kind of a ladder here that's sloped a little bit that's where you would go upstairs I guess right through here uh, right here is the hay spear that I was talking about and I mean Katie looked at this last time I was here but the way it works they had some that come in from each side like I was talking about but the way this one works you drop this whole thing down and it spears down here it spears <clears throat> so you see how this spear is turned up well when you drop this fork down into the haystack all the way up to right here 
and you pull and you lift up, these levers <clears throat> will open these spikes down in the haystack and make it hold on. So this is how they would lift lift the haystack up and take it into the barn loft. And this hung on the trolley upstairs. So go over here and peek up. Now we're right here, we're in the the uh where you would feed the milk cows when you was milking them. Here's the stank, individual stanchion. Right here's the big barn loft. All right. Right here, this is the track on which the hay lift run on, and right here is the carriage, right there. And it had some ropes and and ropes on there that would go down to the hay spear that I just showed you. And my understanding, I've never been around one of these being used, my understanding is when you drop the spear down into the haystack and hook it, and when you pick it up, some, some an animal or whatever's pulling on the rope to lift it, then that, uh, when the hay reaches the top over here, after it's picked up and when it reaches the top, there's a latch that would allow the carriage to be freed and it would roll back into the barn loft to be unloaded. And I wish I knew more about how that operated, but I don't. I see a hook, a hook back here on this very end right there. See that hook? I don't know if that was for a rope or just to keep it from running off or what. Big hay loft here, big hay loft. They could also feed hay over to this side. This is what I was trying to show you on the other side. The floor stops here, and it's open to feed hay down to the stock right here. So you can see that. Some big braces here. Brace down to the floor. All the poster braces with angle braces. Braced with angle braces. Big barn loft. Hey there. I got some company here. Yeah. This is a neat place. Yeah. There's a bunch of all kinds of things around this place. Well, it looks like there was a, a big seal that went on top of the concrete right here all the way down. It looks like it's mostly rotted out and gone. Another door into the stalls right here. Another big stall right here with another, uh, looks like a little ladder to get upstairs on this side as well and this was a separate separate stall over here maybe if they had a cow something wrong with it maybe they would put her in here but this floor is sloping the opposite way of the way it's supposed to it's supposed to maybe this floor was flat but on the other it sloped in as we seen from outside Door into the milking parlor. Right here. A 
big barn. Big barn. Another track for the door on this end. This is the end of the hay trolley track, and you can see that hook on the bottom of it there. Big barn. I guess this right here is the old weather vane that was on top of the barn that had a pretty horse on here on this side. Air up on, it was a lightning rod. This top was your lightning rod that come down all the way down and the weather vane would spin on the lightning rod. Found an old dart there. I've not had one of them since I was a boy. Not played with one. It's been a long time. Up there's the hay trolley track. I don't know if you can see it where the light is. Is this a mill? Grain mill? Looks like a sausage mill, maybe. Sausage grinder. Part of a sausage grinder. I believe. I like that sword, by the way. That's really nice. All right. Yeah, hopefully if it's feasible, Nate and Katie will hopefully do something with this barn and make a use of it. Hopefully if it's in there, it's what they want to do. This was a big barn on a big farm at one time. Big barn. Well, here it is, the old, old corn crib. And it's getting pretty down and out. The roof has failed back here floor is gone and it's kind of getting getting pretty down and out but a big crib on a big farm now down this road all the way down to the river and then you turn left and there's an old big water mill foundation down there we're not going to go down there but i went down with nate and katie and we discovered that i'll try to remember to link that video in the description of when we discovered the water mill down here or the what was left of the water mill which was just a rock foundation and the wheelhouse but it was very interesting they found some interesting history i don't know if they've shared that, all that yet or not but very interesting history on that water mill Another little farm building here. I don't know. Maybe a smokehouse based on how white this wood is down on the bottom. You got your cat hole right here for your cat to go in and keep, keep everything out. I don't know if I should get in here without asking or not, but yes. This is the smokehouse, and what a big smokehouse it was. Very big smokehouse here. So you can see these notches on these posts. Notch there, notch there, notches right here. And I would imagine that those notches were for hanging hams and whatnot up in here to cure. I don't see any hooks. Most of the time there'll be some hooks hanging up that they would hang things from. Over back here, some poles 
they could have possibly hung something from. There's a big wooden hook back here that they'd hung something from. But this smells like a smokehouse. There's no other smell like it. And the floor, you can see how the salt has just, it does something to wood. It kind of semi-dissolves it. They had some shelves right here. I don't know if these shelves were for curing meat. I, it don't look like it because the wood is not, the wood don't have the remnants of salt like usually it does. But this is a very neat, one of the biggest smokehouses that I've ever seen. Big door on it. Big door on the smokehouse. Two latches here. Lower latch and upper latch. And the reason they had the upper latch is so uh, no kids couldn't open this door and leave it open and maybe dogs or some animals get to the meat inside. And also at one time that's later though when they had the lock hasp on there. But then they had a equipment shed on the back side of the smokehouse down here that they could park maybe a wagon that they hauled hay, tractor later on, whatever they needed to back here. But that's a very nice old timey smokehouse. Very nice. Well, folks, I hope y'all have a wonderful Sunday today. Glad to get back out there looking at some old barns. And I look forward to more of them in the future. Hit that like button if you will. Subscribe if you ain't already. Tell your friends about me. And be sure and hit that notifications bell so that you get these videos while they're hot and fresh. Because you know everything's better when it's fresh. Y'all have a nice Sunday. This is Justro at Metcalf Mills. I look forward to seeing you real soon.